I'm Wendy Tisdall. I'm one of your district data coaches over at the Assessment Center. Today I wanted to teach you how to export data from a quiz in Canvas so that it's ready to import into Edge of 4A for analysis. So you're going to click on your quiz. I wanted to point out, you'll notice that I put A, B, C, D on my answer choices. That's important for your export later. So you'll click on Quiz Statistics. Then you will click on Student Analysis. We'll give you a little pop-up saying it's generating a report. Then when it's generated, you'll click on it and open it up. I have mine open already. And inside this Excel spreadsheet, you'll see there's lots of random information that we don't need. In fact, we need to get rid of it in order for Edgeforia to use the data. So the first thing you're going to do is delete the leftmost two columns. We don't need those. You're going to keep SIS ID. That's the student ID number. We'll need those. You'll delete the next five columns. One, two, three. We don't need those. Got to get rid of them. All right, so the next column is the first question, the answer choices that the students chose. After that, and after every question, you'll see some ones and zeros. We want to get rid of those. It's just telling whether the student was correct or incorrect, but Edgeforia doesn't need those, can't use them. And we'll get rid of anything after the last question. So my quiz had three questions. Those are my three questions and the answers the students chose. You're also going to get rid of the top row. Edge of 4A doesn't want a header row. So what you should have when you're done is column A should be a list of all of the student ID numbers. And any column after that will be the answer choices that the students chose. Now, Edge of 4A only wants the letter, or if it was a numerical response, it can have the number. So we need to get rid of all of the other words that were part of the answer choice besides the letter that it goes with. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Find and Select. And then you will choose Replace. In the find what box, we're going to tell Excel to look for everything after the space in any cell. So we're going to put in a space and then an asterisk. That tells Excel, believe it or not, hey Excel, in every row in the spreadsheet, find where there's a space and everything after the space. So you're going to replace it with nothing. So you'll click replace all. And then you'll notice that everything else is gone. And what we have left is just what we need, ID numbers and the answers to every question, just like you would see on a bubble sheet. So we're going to save that. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to call it test. You want to make sure it's a CSV, but it should be. It should be a CSV. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the SSO and you're going to find Edge of Foria. Once you're inside Edge of 4A, you're going to go to Aware. Then you're going to go to the Assessments tab. I can't imagine that you would be doing this for district assessments. We'd probably be taking care of that, but you are going to do this in school assessments. You're going to navigate to your campus. You won't have all of these campuses. If I just have your campus, I'm going to choose Armstrong. You know, keep drilling down until you find where the test is. I'm just going to randomly pick one. Once you get down to the actual test, you get all this test stuff over here. You're going to click on administration at the top and then collection. And I do realize that I'm going to have a lot more stuff than you have, but you'll have the same basic screens. Once you're on collection, you're going to scroll all the way down to upload. Then what you're going to do is choose the file that you just edited and saved. So I saved mine on my desktop. So I'm going to go find mine on my desktop and choose open. You're going to click the checkbox for automatically create test entries, and then you're going to upload the data file, and then you press close. Just with that upload data file up to, um, button, you'll have put all the data into Edgeforia so that when you go to the Analyze tab and navigate to the test, all of this, the data that you exported from Canvas will magically appear. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always call or email me. Again, I'm Wendy Tisdall. I do have a, a document, a PDF, so that you can read through the instructions as well if you need it. Thanks.